Okay. <laughs> Are you a perfectionist? <laughs> I'm not OCD or whatever. I'm not, I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a perfectionist, which of course means that you, um, you know, there's always the danger that you never finish anything because it, it's not perfect. You know, I'm a very visual person, so I tend to keep my eyes open all the time. So I see interest in odd things, and it's certainly not other people's buildings. When I start a project, I mean, I tend to obviously visit the site, visit the surrounding villages take an interest in the landscape and the flora and fauna and things like that and then hopefully you, you have a spark. I mean natural materials have so much character in themselves that they don't need in themselves to be very strong in terms of colour. I'm sort of slightly wary of colour. I mean I like the colour to be natural and things like paint to be a colour of white. I mean ironically what you know there are hundreds of shades of white. It's like it's not just one white. But I always have a sort of eye or a, a sense of, of an opportunity, you know, to use something special and to be able to use big pieces of ash in architecture, um, you know, would be quite stunning. And especially as it's helping, um, you know, the regeneration of, of forests. But I mean, what's good about Denison is that you know, that there are more trees planted and more trees grow than they actually cut down. So it's a sort of a, you know, on the balance, it's a positive. I think the, the attraction for me of ash is, is the, the scale. I mean, you can get ash in very wide um, planks. It's very, very, you can get it very long. Um, so you can get it up to, well, I mean, in some cases, a metre wide. And it's a hardwood, obviously, like oak. It's easy to work and there's a variety of colour. You, know, you can get it pale or, or, or quite dark at the heart of it. Even with straight grained oak, you're more conscious of the joints, but you're also more, more conscious of the, you know, the patterning of wood. You, know, you can get a more calmer, simpler effect with, with stone. But obviously, a lot of times wood is, is essential to do with the lightness and, and warmth. And, it's, uh, well, it's essential. I mean, there's no architecture without wood, really. <laughs>